Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 2nd of September, and my name is Chris Paul, and this is Compline Prayer on behalf of the Trinity Episcopal Church in Elkridge, Maryland. We offer a morning prayer service each Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. and a Compline prayer service each Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. My apologies that this evening's Compline prayer is coming to you a few minutes late. Uh, I had a little trouble with weather. But here we are nonetheless, uh, once again, front seat of my car, because God likes us to pray anywhere. If you are not familiar with Compline Prayer, it is the final prayer service in the daily office. It is about a 10 minute prayer service. If you have a Book of Common Prayer, you want to turn to page 127, or you can go to bcponline.org, and in the table of contents, you'd find daily office, and then you'd find Compline Prayer. As I mentioned, it's a short prayer service, and if I can do it in the front seat of my car, you can do it wherever you are with or without a Book of Common Prayer. It's just really an opportunity to sort of bring your day to a quiet, reflective time and settle your mind, settle your heart, settle your soul a little bit as you bring your day to a close. So let's give ourselves just a moment of quiet, and then we will begin on page 127. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm for this evening is going to be Psalm 4 found on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, at once I fall asleep. For only in you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading for tonight can be found on page 131 from Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I welcome your prayers of intercession. This is a time where you can speak those out loud or silently in your heart to God, or if we can be praying with you, please don't hesitate to type those things into the chat box. I'd like to offer continued prayers for all those who've been affected by COVID-19, whether through illness or whether through loss of employment, loss of home, loss of a loved one, loss of just feeling free. I want to pray for all of the students that are starting school this week, many virtually, uh, some who are actually doing something hybrid. I want to offer prayers for all those going back to school and for all the teachers, which includes the parents in that, that are just trying to make this the best possible situation for everyone. I want to offer prayers tonight or ask you to help me pray for my uncle Carl who has been diagnosed with stomach and esophageal cancer. If you could keep him in your prayers along with my Aunt Penny, I would appreciate that. And I'd like to ask us all to offer prayers tonight, especially as we are in the midst of this election season and the, there's a lot going on on the news that we all pray for those who influence public opinion. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous. To the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. And again, as we proceed through this 2020 with all the challenges that it has had, I'd like you to join me in offering a prayer for the future of the human race. O God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before the mystery of life and give us new insight into your purposes for the human race and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future in accordance with your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We offer prayers for Chita. Gracious God, we offer before you all of the prayers that were spoken here this evening, those that were said out loud, and those that we carry silently in our hearts, known only to you. We ask you to look down upon us with your favor. Help each and every one of us to move safely through this night into the new day with hope and promise for new opportunities tomorrow. We ask you to especially watch over all those who do not have someplace safe to sleep tonight and give them the shelter at least of your love and your protection and help us to work to find better solutions for all of those people for tomorrow night. We ask all of these things, Lord, in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us continue tonight with our prayers found on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Well, that concludes our Compline prayer from the front seat of my car this evening. I thank you so much for joining joining me in prayer. I hope that you all have a safe night. I know it's raining and lightning, so please stay in if you can and stay safe. I hope that you can join uh, Deacon Frank, Archdeacon Frank, tomorrow morning uh, for a morning prayer service. And tomorrow evening, Brother Les Roberts will be here at 8.30 p.m. for another Compline prayer service. 
Have a wonderful and safe evening, everyone. Good night and God bless.